an incredible streak. Head coach Steve Kerr knows plenty about making history, whether it's breaking records as a coach with the Warriors or as a player with the 95-96 Bulls, he's experienced a tremendous level of success. And Armani Poole got Kerr to compare and contrast the two squads in this Coach's Corner exclusive. Let's go back to a time when you were totally healthy and playing in the NBA. 95, 96 Bulls. You, I know you may have heard that about them a little bit this year. Um, go back to that team and what do you remember about that team? And how do you think, what are the things, you mean, compare these, that team with this team? And what are the comparisons? What do you like? Well, that team was um, obviously incredibly talented with Michael, Scotty, and Dennis. Um, it had continuity from having won championships before with Phil Jackson. Um, it was a very intimidating team. Michael scared opponents before he even stepped on the floor. The similarity, I think, is uh, with our team this year. Uh, the Bulls were and the Warriors are great on both sides of the ball. You know, to, to, to win at such a high rate, you can't just rely on your offense or your defense. Um, you got to be able to do both. And, and uh, that's the biggest similarity along with the, the Steph phenomenon. Curry, 5 of the clock, he'll just take the three from the Warriors and knocks it down. It's good to be the king. Kind of comparing it to the Michael phenomenon, just, you know, worldwide attention and focus and love for Steph. It, it really does remind me of Michael. The horse goes down, and another piece of NBA history belongs in the bay. Did you purposely sort of bring, go back to those days when you took over this team and decide there were certain things, certain things you wanted to instill to bring this team to that level? Uh, not really. You know, I didn't ever imagine even after last year that um, we could play at the same level that that Bulls team did and we haven't done it yet I mean we were, we're on course to do it but to, to win that many games in the regular season and win the championship um, it's an incredibly difficult thing to do and, and we're trying to do it here obviously but um, I don't really think that much about that experience because it's a totally different group of people and different era in the NBA. I don't think anybody would have predicted this. Very special feat. Obviously don't want to stop now. You know, we'll take it and um, just try to improve and obviously, you know, hopefully play our best basketball down the end of the stretch. It's a blessing to be on this team. All these guys in the locker room and coaching stuff, these fans, it's a blessing. We're on the right track. I mean, and we're not complacent, we're trying to get better. Are you able to determine how badly this team might want to go after that 73? And if so, how do you determine how to play that as you get closer? I, I have decided, uh, based on experience, that I'm not going to even think about that until it's a possibility. That record is so hard to touch that, you know, we get one injury and lose, you know, three games, all of a sudden, forget it. So, I, I'm not... I'm not thinking about that. And, you know, if there's two or three weeks left in the season, we have a shot. Well, yeah, then I'll give, give it some thought. We can play a great focus on see when teams beating us. We've continued to approach the game the right way and continue to get better, and that's what's important. Coming up, Curry dribble behind the back. 